Hello everyone and welcome to Credit Finance. In today's video, I bring you an update regarding the SNAP update. A SNAP update with the possibility of a government shutdown later this month. We will take a look at this, why those on SNAP could see a freeze of their monthly SNAP benefits starting October 1st. And then first step that are being take to prevent such an interruption also with the first phase of the new SNAP requirements. In fact, the second phase will begin October 1st. We will take a look at the states who have qualified for viewers and do not have to meet these new requirements, some of which not until next year and why 1 million could lose their benefits as a result. We will also take a look at the ongoing September SNAP payout schedule date for all 50 states. Now as it has been reported, these new SNAP work requirements have started to take effect with phase 1 beginning this month and phase 2 set to start on October 1st, which state in the able-bodied adults without dependent receiving monthly SNAP benefits must meet certain work requirements to receive those benefits. Now current rules state any able-bodied adults between 18 year of age and 50 must complete these requirements while next month that will change to 18 of age up until 52 years of age it has been started that up to 1 million could see their benefits impacted as a result of this new change however these new changes requirements are not going to affect all snap recipients as a number of states have been approved for waivers which means they can delay this new requirements for up to one year as a result each state is different so it's important for you to reach out to your local snap administrator to see how long these waivers are valid for in your state because there are some on this list that will expire this october if not renewed now states currently approved for these work waivers include alaska arizona california whose waivers is extended until October of 2024. Connecticut, D.C., Hawaii, which has been extended until June of 2024. Illinois, which also has been extended until October of 2024. Louisiana, Michigan, has an extension until Feb of 2024. Nevada, which also has an extension until next June. New Jersey, New Mexico, which has an extension until December of this year. New York and Pennsylvania now there are also some other states that have been approved for partial waivers which means certain counties within those states have been approved for the extension but not all of them so it's important to check it with your local snap administrator to see if you live in one of those states that has been partially approved these states includes Colorado, Kentucky which has an extension in some counties until November of this year. New Hampshire, North Dakota, Ohio, Oregon also has an extension in some counties until December 31st. South Dakota, Washington State, Massachusetts which has been extended in some counties until June 30th of 2024. Maryland, Minnesota, Mississippi, Montana, Rhode Island, Virginia also extended in some counties until June of next year. And Vermont following state do not have any waivers and those requirements have taken effective September 1st and again October 1st. They include Alabama, Arkansas, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Ohio, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Maine, Missouri, Nebraska, North Carolina, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, West Virginia, Wisconsin, and Wyoming again. These states do not have any waivers currently on file with the USDA. So we are just about three weeks away from a possible government shutdown, which could impact a number of federal growth programs include SNAP monthly benefit. Now this seems to happen at least once a year where we see a potential shutdown that's usually avoided at the last minute with some sort of deals. But the possibilities still exist if no deals is reached, then October 1st, the SNAP program will be operating without money and unable to make those regular payments to the state, who in turn are the one paying those SNAP recipients. Now SNAP does have an emergency fund, however, in the past, that's not been enough to cover all state and what they spend in a month. 
Its estimated over 40 million people receive monthly SNAP benefits, so this impact could be significant. Currently, Congress is working on an agreement, possibly a temporary one to fund the government through the rest of the year. And there is a request uh, for an additional fund. First SNAP being made, we will keep monitoring the situation for any further developments. Now moving on to the monthly SNAP September payout date schedule. For all states, starting with Alabama set for September 4 through the 23rd, Alaska on September 1st, Arizona the 1st through the 13th, Arkansas September 4th through the 13th, California September 1st through the 10th, Colorado September 1st through the 10th, Connecticut September 1st through the 3rd, Delaware September 2nd through the 23rd, DC September 1st through the 10th, Florida September 1st through the 28th. Now moving on to Georgia, September 5th through the 23rd, Hawaii, September 3rd to 5th, Ohio, September 1st to the 10th, Illinois will see those payments between the 1st and the 10th. Indiana will see those payments September 5th through the 23rd, Iowa, September 1st through the 10th, Kansas, September 1st to the 10th, Kentucky, September 1st through the 19th, Louisiana will see those payments between the 1st and 23rd. Maryland September 4th through the 23rd, Massachusetts will see those SNAP payments between the 1st and the 14th of September. Michigan September 23rd through 21st, Minnesota September 4th through the 13th, Mississippi September 4th through the 21st, Missouri will see those SNAP payments between the 1st and 22nd of September. Montana September 2nd through the 6th, Nebraska September 1st through the 5th, Nevada will see those payments between the 1st and 10th. New Jersey September 1st through the 5th and New York State September 1st through the 9th, New Hampshire September 5th, New Mexico September 1st of uh, the 20th, North Carolina see those SNAP benefits between the 3rd and 21st of September. North Dakota on September 1st, Ohio September 2nd through the 20th, Ohio September 1st through the 10th, Oregon September 1st through the 9th, Pennsylvania will see their payments between the 3rd and 14th of September. Rhode Island paid out on September 1st. Moving on to South Carolina, we will see those payments between the 1st and 10th of September. South Dakota on September 10th, Tennessee will see those payments between September 1st and the 20th. Texas between the 1st and 28th of September, Utah on September 5th, 11th and 15th. Vermont paid out already on the 1st of September, Virginia the 1st through the 7th West Virginia September 1st through the 9th Washington state September 1st through the 20th Wisconsin the 1st and through the 15th and Wyoming September 1st through the 4th so that's all the update that i have for today remember to turn on your notification button to know when i have uploaded a new video thanks for watching and see you guys next time